Hello, brothers and sisters of the light. I am Julie Joy of the Young Light Workers with another message for you from my favorite collective of ascended masters who are known by the name of Thymus, as channeled by Daniel Scranton. And the title of this message is What You Are Meant to Do on Earth. And they began blessings. We are Thymus. We are the collective of ascended masters. We appreciate all of you, especially in your efforts to make a difference on your planet and in this universe. We know that you have good intentions, and we also know that you want to live a good life. You want to enjoy your life experience while also making a difference in the collective of which you are a part, and we want you to know that the two things can coexist. They can be two simultaneous intentions for you to have. You can live a good life and be of service to others. You do not have to continuously look for ways of denying yourself some creature comfort so that you can be of greater service to another. Sometimes by allowing someone else to do something for you, you are actually giving that other person an opportunity to fulfill an aspect of their mission in this life. So do not think that you are the only one who should ever be of service to another. Sometimes, of course, it is appropriate for you all to receive, to be on the receiving end of someone else's act of service. It is completely appropriate for you to enjoy someone else's work of art, even if it is just a sitcom on television. You are helping all of humanity just by being there and experiencing life as you do. Develop your preferences, your interests, and respond to the things that are calling you to them in an appropriate way. You are not there to be a martyr or a renunciate. You don't have to give up everything in order to follow one teaching to its utmost. You are there to be you, and you have your unique preference and interests. You have the things that bring you the most joy, and in doing them, you are automatically being of service to the collective consciousness of which you are a part. You don't even have to define one thing as work and another thing as play. You don't have to see your life as being in those boxes of this is my work time, this is my free time, this is my service time, and this is my me time. Combine it all. Make your life fun, interesting, full of love and creativity. Use all of the experiences you have ever had to inform you as to what that life looks like and then pursue it. Give yourselves permission to do that and you will be of service to yourself as well as the rest of the collective. You don't have to separate yourself from the rest of the human collective. You don't have to see it as you being separate from the entire universe in any way. Put out laughter, love, good feeling thoughts and you are contributing to the collective. But if all you are doing is denying yourself everything, in the hopes that you will be somehow good enough to make a difference, then you are sacrificing yourself. None of you is meant to do that or supposed to do that. You are supposed to find a way to support yourself and everyone else that you are there to support while also having a good time doing it. You can have more than enough abundance. You, When you spend that abundance on the things that you love, you are benefiting everyone. In the state of being, that which is referred to as love, you are automatically of service. Love yourself. Love others. Love animals. Love trees. Love Mother Earth, and you are automatically of service. Sometimes when you love someone or something, you can take an action, but you don't have to. You don't have to prove your love to anyone. Do what you feel inspired to do and you are helping everyone and never listen to someone else who is telling you that you should be doing this or you should not be doing that. You are not there to follow someone else's rules. You are there to follow your gut, your heart, your intuition, your spontaneous inspiration in the moment. And you are of service to others when you do those things because you are setting an example and spreading lots of good vibration of feeling around. Be yourself. Be true to yourself. And watch how life unfolds beautifully in front of you and all around you. 
you will also notice that you see more people thriving because you will see a reflection of yourself everywhere you look in this beautiful universe of ours. That is all for now. We are Thymus. We are the collective of Ascended Masters, and we are always amongst you. This was a very touching, very loving, very inspiring message from Thymus. This was channeled by Daniel Scranton. His own website is danielscranton.com. And his channel here on YouTube is simply his own name, Daniel Scranton. I will be able to post the words to this message below in the show more section. I am Julie Joy, your servant of the light. Always honored to bring these beautiful messages to all of you from Thymus. Mm-hmm.